I have the pleasure of directing this ensemble along with uh, Mr. David Galantino. It's an honor to work with such a great educator. We have a great time in class, and I think you can tell by the way the students play how much we get accomplished. So let's give a round of applause for Mr. Galantino.
Thank you so much. Can you believe there are eighth graders? That was amazing. You know, as educators, our goal is to have their, uh, their best performance the night of the concert, obviously. Because after tonight, we're done with these songs, we've got to move on to the next songs. And uh, watching them grow, especially since seventh grade, um, I, I can't be more proud of these kids, the way they work. If you were standing on the side of the stage, I think in the springtime we're going to videotape it. Because the look on their faces when they're performing, and the concentration and focus, you probably never see it at home, right? But they are focused and they have worked so hard to sound like they do. So uh, we are very proud of them. Uh, we're turning it over to Mr. Kennedy.
That last one, you'll definitely hear it many weddings and definitely at many occasions. It's a very uh, famous classical piece of music. This next one, uh, Legend of the Nighthawk, evokes some images that I wrote in the program, as well as it featuring the percussion section. So it's time to let the uh, percussion section kind of take the lead. Here is Legend of the Nighthawk. sing these Christmas carols for you. We had enough of that late spring, right? <laughs> so uh, again, uh, it's been a pleasure conducting these kids so far this year. We cannot wait to see uh, what they do the rest of the year in the spring concert. Uh, so we're looking forward to that. And then next year, watching them in the ninth grade flourish as musicians. They're really starting to become musical and not just playing notes on a page. They're really starting to make music. And that's what we uh, enjoy so much about this play. So, Thank you again for coming out tonight, and I uh, hope you guys have a safe uh, holiday season.
face first piece for you tonight is Ring Out Wild Bells. The poem was penned by a famous uh, uh, British poet, um, Alfred Lord Tennyson. Um, he, was, um, he was the one that coined the phrase, he's one of the most quoted um, poets, um, but he was the one that coined the phrase, uh, it's better to have loved and lost than never to have loved at all. I was like, oh, that guy. Yeah, that guy. That's the guy that wrote the poem tonight. Um, this first piece is a, a somewhat of a, a, a eulogy to a, a friend of his who died very suddenly at the age of 22. Um, and his sister was engaged to this man. So this, this piece is about bringing out grief and sorrow and all of the bad things from the old age year and fervently, passionately singing out and, and ringing in the new year. Um, we are going to follow that up with um, a piece called Shalom Chavarim. Um, it is a tra traditional Israel, uh, excuse me, Israeli melody. Um, and the translation of that is um, goodbye, my friends, until we meet again. And once again, it's just this, um, this wish for peace, um, which I think after the events um, of this past year, I think we all need that more, more than ever. Um, once again, our first piece is going to feature three bell players, uh, Brianna Wilmot, Dakota Wilmot, I'm sorry, I did that backwards, didn't I? No, I did right. Okay, Brianna Wilmot, Dakota Williams, and Caitlin Murphy that are going to be our, our bells. These ladies have worked extremely hard. They have been every single second that I have off, they are there to rehearse. So my life has been filled with bells for the last month. Um, and the best part is that um, I don't think... I think I'm right in saying none of you read music, right? So we've actually named the bell patterns after their names, and so we're screaming Dakota pattern, Brianna pattern, Caitlin pattern. So we got all these very fun and goofy names for them. So if you see them mouthing their names, that's what they're doing. They're actually just telling each other what they're supposed to be playing. So, all right. With, uh, without further ado, a strange even a fruit. Move to the left a little bit. More. The guys will move. Don't worry. Just keep moving. They're scared of you. Just keep moving to the left. It's fine.
Our next piece has been titled The Snow Carol. Um, you may know it as Still, Still, Still. Um, it is an Austrian Christmas carol. Um, it's going to feature uh, the lovely vocals of Miss Avery Lawrence. Um, she is not singing in English. She is singing in German to begin our piece, um, and then the chorus is going to follow in English. It's a very, very lovely, very, very lovely uh, a carol, and uh, a very nice and welcome spot of relief and peace in the middle of this crazy season. So please enjoy the snow carol. Thank you. 
was wondering where our guitar player went. I knew she was here. <laughs> um, our last piece is a, a, is a an only bit of goodie. Um, the kids were begging me to have something um, that they knew. And this is what I gave them. <laughs> um, an older tune, uh, an older tune, but they've been having a lot of fun with it. And then we decided that um, just singing it wasn't enough. We needed to go the extra steps, so and now we have a band. Um, so we have Gavin Ridge on drums. Thank you, Gavin. And we have uh, Sophia Lynn on guitar. And we're going to give her a second to set up, and then we are going to bring down the house with Jingle Bell Rock. Okay, well, since she's still getting set up, <laughs> um, I would uh, very much once again like to thank you all sincerely um, so much for coming. Um, North Penn, uh, North Penn is, is, is very uh, blessed to have such a, a wonderful and, and gifted music education program. I'm very, very proud to be a part of it. I'm very proud of the 150 voices that I have behind me. Um, they've all obviously worked very, very hard, and we very so much um, uh, appreciate your, your support. If you feel like coming out again and doing this once again, our ninth graders are going to be performing on uh, Thursday night, December 13th um, at 7 o'clock. We would very much like to have you come back and support them as well. Um, and then the high school, um, I believe their winter concert is on Tuesday, December 18th. Um, so if you can come out to any or all of those, we would very much appreciate it. Um, and Sophia, how are we doing here? One more second, okay. We're gonna have we're gonna have elevator music while she while we're getting ready. <laughs>